Hello and welcome back guys to a brand new episode on our 100% free to play Wizard 101 Death Character. We are back again and uh, I'm actually working on getting that level uh, uh, bronze reward for our pet for beating the maze 25 times. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So here we are. This is actually the last round. This is the 25th round. All I gotta do is win this, and we should be able to see uh, what you actually get. So I was looking at it, and so far, you get about four points uh, for completing and winning uh, a level. So that's the highest you can get, four uh, XP points for your pet. And it costs four energy, so I wanna see if maybe the energy goes down, or maybe the ward goes up. I'm hoping that the ward goes up i do know that the um energy level is going to increase as we become a higher level pet so once he's adult it's going to start costing us like eight energy every time we play a game so i'm hoping that the rewards go up because i'm pretty sure the rewards never change okay so we, we we're pretty good we got 87 my high score still is uh the 101 i haven't been able to top that I've been trying to. I, really, I want to know, has anybody ever actually completed that? I don't know. Okay, so we we got a bronze medal and we got our energy. Okay, or uh, our XP. So does that make a difference in anything? Change one. Let's click to see it still costs four. And it still gives us four. Wait a minute, what's this? Skip game. Ooh, what? Okay. That's different. So you can skip the game altogether because you're for you're pro already at this game. You you got a reward. So you can keep trying to win games and get higher probably, but maybe it'll cost cheaper. I don't know. Or maybe it'll give you more XP once we get to 50. Um, but it allows you to skip the game, which allows you to immediately just feed your pet. So if you had a good uh, snack, it'll power him up quicker. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do have a few more... Um, energy left so I'm gonna actually uh, play the game a little bit more just to finish this off and then we're gonna head over to our death teacher because he wanted to talk to us I believe so we're gonna go find out about that here by our death teacher let's see what he got for us the very truth as they say knowledge is power i think it's about time you do some research you'll need to go to the haunted cave that is if you're brave enough mm, once there search around the graveyard for where the elder seer is buried remember a graveyard wouldn't scare a death student at least not a brave one not a brave one all right so that's in Okay, I was gonna say that's in train, isn't it? No, it is actually. Really far away. Okay. Hmm. Might have to wait on this one a little bit. Because it is pretty far. I do think we had a quest for um from Ambrose as well. So he did tell us to come get him. I want you to introduce yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way, on the right. How do we do this? 
Wizard, I've heard you rescued an assortment of pets from old Judd. Do you still have the one you adopted? Yes. If so, do make sure to visit Milo Barker in the pet pavilion. He can walk you through everything you need to know about raising, training, and improving your pet. Sweet. Speaking of issues concerning Malastia, one of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, has been tackling a ghost problem over on Triton Avenue. Can you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malastare has been contacting former students. Ooh, we're doing a double cross here thing. Let's go there. Oh no. We crashed, uh, but we're back. Illumina Crystal, this should be just what we need. So, the Headmaster's still worried about Malister. If you ask me, I think Ambrose needs to quit blaming Malister every time something goes wrong in Wizard City. Uh-huh, speak into the microphone. Malister Drake was such an inspiring professor. Most consider him to be the greatest necromancer of our time. He understood life's limitations and strove to face them unafraid. Ambrose has suggested for me to stop practicing the death arts. He even suggested I give life a try. Ha! But I keep studying on my own. Maybe one day I will be as powerful as Malister. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you want to find out more about Malister, maybe you should talk to an old friend of his wife. You have heard what happened to Malister's wife, right? No. No? Oh, if you're interested, go talk to Gloria Crendel in Old Town and ask her about Sylvia Drake. Those two women were close. She could tell you more. The Lumina Crystal will boost the power of my ritual. It'll work this time, I'm sure of it. It's working! <gasps> Susie, I can see her! But what was that horrifying thing with her? I don't know how I feel about just a photo popping up, but that's an awesome photo. That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class. He's a powerful spirit from the underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent. It looked like she's in Galvano's tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please free my sister. So the Harvest Lord is working with Malastar, and he's making the crystals and giving them to the death creatures that Malastar has brought back to life. Okay, cool. Huh, interesting. Okay. So, where's our quest now? We're going that away. We're going to the tower. We got so much stuff to do. Okay, let's just keep going with this quest and then we'll go track down um, our death spell a little bit later. As we move closer that away. I think this teleport right here should actually teleport me closer to yeah, the tower. Heck yeah. This is it, right? This is it. Ah! You have been asked to enter a dungeon. To go inside, you will need to stand on that sigil next to the door. Once you activate the sigil, a countdown will start. When the timer runs out, anyone standing on the sigil will go inside the dungeon with you. So yeah, this is a four-player dungeon, um, but if I go in by myself, then I'm by myself. It's all right. We got Judge Fluffy over here. We're gonna about to judge the crap out of the scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Ah, another soul to harvest. I knew my little prisoner would draw more to me, like flies to honey. <laughs> well, that's creepy. I love his face. Look at that detail. Wait, my dark master warned me about you. Ha! Imagine the reward he will give me when I present him your very soul. <laughs> Help! Help me. Let's see what's together. Can I sneak over here and grab this book too? Nope. The 
ancient tritons were creatures of the sea and heirs to the power of the storm titan. Awesome. So you get the tritons, who are just like the next beings down. But the titans, there's three titans, and one of them is a storm titan. That's awesome. And these are like the original beings of this world. It is thought they used their command of lightning to create technological wonders. But, if true, their inventions were lost to uncertain tides. They're underwater. The Tritons isolated themselves from their dragon and giant contemporaries, but were often blamed for cataclysms on the land or in the skies. Awesome. So they feel like they're being judged, so that's why they're hiding underwater. That's cool. Um, so yeah, the dragon is actually the fire titan, and the giant is the ice titan. So you have these three titans that were one of the original beings created. Uh, hopefully it'll tell us a little bit later who they were created by. Eventually they retreated to hidden oceans, seldom ever seen again. Though some suspect there is a world of tritons waiting to be found. Yep, yep, that's a, just a, I love all these little hints. Uh, like, they're giving the history, but it's also giving, like, uh, little subtle things that, to the future. I wonder how long this was in the works. And, like, where you could have got these little tiny hints before they actually opened up the new worlds. I wonder if we can find some new ones. All right. We're gonna be quick about this one. At least try to be. So I'm gonna go straight for this guy and see if we can knock out this run fodder. I like how he has like little lightning bolts on his back. Of his All right, you just gotta hit. You gotta hit like a fifty. It's 500 health, so we're, okay, well, so do we now. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta be a little smart about this. In two rounds, we can get him. So let's see, what about, let's get our pips back and try and get a bunch of death traps on him and see if we can kind of boost him. Back with an assist. So let's go bam and bam and see what we can do then. It should only bring it back like half health. Oh, that's fuzzy. Yeah, you did. The pets never uh, fizzle. Uh, so that's always a good thing. They're always going to attack no matter what. If their spell goes, then they're going to. Yeah, look, at least a solid 208. Yeah. Sweet, we got our health back a little bit. Hopefully we have another one of those we can cast quickly. We got two pips ready to go. I think we got a third one here, yep. Alright, let's try this again. that give you 
Whatever your diet says, he needs to have half, half the health that he just took. So that's always good. And then, let's do it again. Get a little more health out of him. And we'll cast this guy. Beaten, but my master's grand design is nearly complete. Triton Avenue is doomed. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Meet me outside, wizard. I need your help. All right. Uh, they they have these uh, lord chests in here. There's pretty good loot inside of these, but I'm pretty sure you have to fill crowns in, and so not free to play. Look at that. I want this poster, that, that banner, that banner's sick, I want it. Alright, what's going on? I overheard the Harvest Lord's plans. He was raising an army of rotting fodder, armed with storm magic to attack Wizard City. But there's more! The Tempest Nexus up on the ridge channels storm energy into Triton Avenue. The Harvest Lord diverted the flow of energy to enchant the amulets. But after he finished the amulets, he directed the flow back on itself. The Nexus will explode and take Triton Avenue with it. Oh, shoot. Use the teleporter by the mill to reach the Tempest Nexus. I'll meet you up there. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. All right, we're back. Where are you at? Oh, I think she's... Worse than I thought. The Nexus could explode at any moment. The controls, uh, they aren't working. I can't set it right. Professor Bellstrom knows more about storm magic than anyone. Go ask him for help. I'll try to keep the Nexus stable. Hurry. Okay, okay. You can get to Ravenwood and back quickly by pressing the mark button to set your location. Give it a try. Okay. Use the return to commons button to get back to the commons and then head to Ravenwood. We do got some new gear real quick. Uh, that's what we're wearing. We can't wear that yet. Right? Oh, we're not even wearing it yet. Oh, sweet. So we, I like that it kind of builds us a costume. Look, like, this almost looks like they're perfect together, but they are different. Um, we have these boots over here. We could feel more health. We have this sword that's gonna give us way more health later on. Okay, back to back to. Sorry, I know it's about to explode. So we're marking this location. We're gonna go to the commons. Ah, oh, we should have went home. It would have been clear. Uh, but this is good enough. We'll be right here at Ravenwood. I like how the music just suddenly changes. Like you're in this intense battle, and then. Okay, so storm right here. Easy day. Wizard. What? The Tempest Nexus is going to explode? Oh dear me, we can't have that! No, it cannot. Here, take this master key! Ring it against the metal of the Nexus three times, and the feedback loop should end! Good luck, and move quickly! If you marked your location in Triton Avenue, click the recall button to return to your mark. You would think that he would go, you know? Like, you, sh you should be the one handling this right now. You did it, wizard! Triton Avenue is saved! That was kind of just... nonchalant. Yeah, you did. Um, you didn't happen to run into my little brother Archer anywhere, did you? Archer? I did. He's alright? Thank goodness! Take me to him! It'll be good to see him again! Alright, I guess. I'll head down here. 
You rescued Susie. Susie. All's well. The Harvest Lord has been driven back into the shadows, and the storm energy is flowing again. There's still a lot of undead roaming around, but without the Harvest Lord to direct them, we can handle them. I'll help. So, the Harvest Lord said he had a dark master. Track that master down, wizard, so Malastare's memory can be redeemed. Yeah, it's definitely Malastare. Mm, maybe you should leave that for later. For now, tell Sergeant Muldoon that things are calming down. You've gained greater power, I see. Come find me if you want to know another spell. Awesome. Okay, uh, we have a few more quests here, but we'll leave that for later. I'm gonna head back over here and talk to Sergeant. Um, but in the next episode, we'll go down to the Harvest Lord because I know that has to do with our school. And we do have a new spell uh, that we can get as well. So let's see, maybe we'll get two spells out of that next one tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.